Hello everyone welcome to Success Education today we'll be doing the science journal solution for standard 6 experiment number 4 so the aim is to separate the components from a mixture of water and kerosene and before that if you have not subscribed my channel till now please do subscribe it for more videos so we'll continue with the experiment apparatus and materials are separating funnel stand cork and beaker and the substances to be used are kerosene and water you need to draw the same figure on the right hand side and the procedure is take a separating funnel after setting up the separating funnel on the stand pour the mixture of kerosene oil and water in it let it stand undisturbed for some time soon two distinct and separate layers of kerosene and water will be seen next open the cork of the separating funnel the aim is to drain out the water slowly which has collected at the base of the funnel close the cork of the separating funnel as soon as the level of kerosene reaches the cork now the observation is water gets collected in the beaker and kerosene is left behind in the funnel conclusion is water and kerosene can be separated by a separating funnel now test your knowledge the mcqs question number 1 that is mcqs first one which of the following pairs of liquids do not mix with each other it's option number b water and kerosene Second, which type of impurities can be separated from water by the process of decantation? It's option number A, insoluble and heavy solid impurity. Now, question number two, that is, state whether the following statements are true or false. First one, filtration is used to separate soluble substance from water. It is false. Second, in a mixture of kerosene and water, water floats on kerosene. It is false. Third. saturated solution is not necessarily saturated at all the temperatures it is true now we'll continue with question number 3 that is state the methods used to separate the components of a mixture following methods are used to separate the components of a mixture first one hand picking second sieving third threshing fourth winnowing fifth sedimentation sixth decantation seventh filtration eighth evaporation and ninth condensation and here we come to the end of experiment number 4 i hope you have understood the complete experiment if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you